Canada ha happens to um, to enjoy this, the same day of the that we do in terms of Labor Day. The, it falls, I'm pretty sure it falls on the same day as ours. How, how was that good thing about this last night? But how difficult is it to get a work week permit for, say, uh, say you're interested in a Mexican actor? Say I'm what, doing what? You're interested in a Mexican actor. Yes. You want to bring him to the U.S. to make the movie. Right. How does that work? You just get a permit. Get That's a easy, permit. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's all done by some, some, there's an agency that'll handle all that paperwork for you. The point is it's easy to bring someone from Mexico into or the state, to the States or to bring someone from Canada to the States. What's hard is bringing an American to Canada. There's no reciprocity there. They make it very difficult. Why we allow for that, I don't know. And even the guilds support it. The Directors Guild lets a, lets a Canadian DGC as opposed to GGA Directors Guild of Canada will let the guy come in and work, take work away from us. And yet we go there and they say no. There's no reciprocity. It's not fair. And they make it difficult, like, in, they take a long time? No, no, they won't allow, they, they, I, I have to go through, jump through a lot of hoops to get crew into Canada, you know. So you should allow a week, two weeks, a month? No, it's not the time frame. I know what's going to I'm going what's going to fly and what's not. And some of it takes a lot of hoops, but it isn't so much my time, it's just that I do it well in advance. They ought to be as flexible letting us in there as we are letting them in here. And they are not. And why we allow that is a mystery to me. And I don't mean gut from a governmental standpoint, I mean from the union standpoint. Directors Guild of Canada and Directors Guild of America should have the same reciprocal rules. And they don't. Okay? And the, there's not enough hours in the day for me to fight it, you know? <laughs>